Hey butterflies and welcome back to my channel. Today I will be starting a get ready with me casting series. I wanted to share some of the casting looks I have to do every time I get ready for an audition. Uh, today I actually have a callback so I thought what better way to start my casting series with the look I got a callback for which is hijab woman. So you guys, you're in for a treat. Let me know what you, how you like it. Like, comment below. And here we go. So today I have a callback. It's morning and I'm, since it's an actual callback, uh, time is of the essence. I kind of pre-did my lashes and my brows just to save a little bit of time and then give you guys like a few pointers every time you get an audition from your agent uh you want to make sure you're reading the breakdown and the breakdown gives a description of what the client is looking for the description will tell you what to wear um what the character is so this particular casting that i have a call back for is for a national commercial and the character is hijab woman and uh, just a friendly disclaimer this was just solely for the audition that i'm doing today this is not to offend anybody i do have to wear or had to wear a hijab for the audition uh so i will be showing the full look with the makeup and the hijab and showing the full look after resources that you guys should probably think about when you read descriptions and you're unsure of what you need to do pinterest is a good resource um google is a good resource when you're thinking of what to wear this breakdown for hijab woman was flowy modern uh fashionable so for me when i thought of modern um and fashionable i think of boss lady that's what i i got from the breakdown or that's what the the idea gave me now everybody kind of looks at a breakdown and kind of take what they think the best um character to come up with or best description uh sometimes you could get a breakdown and the breakdown is like all over the place but um uh, it's best to put some of the adjectives in pinterest and then that should help you out for my look today i want to do more of like a boss lady i'm gonna do a bold red lip i'm gonna do a smoky eye um but i don't want to do black for a smoky eye so i'm going to do something a little different so i'm gonna start with my mary Kay primer yeah i'm old school but this is a really good primer it's really silky to the skin it's really light so I usually just put it in the places where I put mo the foundation the most. And my foundation that I'll be using today, sure that's right. foundation I'll be using today will be MAC. So generally I don't usually apply like tons and tons of foundation for anything that I do, uh, but it is, um, it's good coverage. Really, really good coverage in my opinion. Since I do get a lot of questions about you know how um i try to you know get ready for castings um how to get an agent stuff like that um i am running a boot camp the boot camp that i have coming up is november 23rd so it's every weekend uh every consecutive weekend starting from november 23rd it'll be a session one boot camp for anybody who is interested in learning about the business, go to my website, The Models Bootcamp. That's The Models Bootcamp with an S dot com. You could click on classes or the six day bootcamp and it'll explain what, um, what the entire bootcamp entails. And if you want to sign up, you'll go ahead and sign up. Or if you have more questions, you could always shoot me an email from the website and I will answer at my earliest convenience so during this portion of the video i'm just applying foundation and then i start using my color corrector by black opal which you'll see in a moment right there um and then i just continue on kind of just talk about what i'm wearing and i didn't want to make this video all about what type of makeup i was putting on because this is me just sharing my casting look with you today and how i achieved it um i really wanted you guys to get the idea how to prepare for an audition and the best way you always want to make sure like i said read the breakdown um if you have any questions make sure you talk to your agent first because you would never want to walk into an audition room being like unprepared um and you want to go in as closely 
to what they're looking for as possible. So when you hear them talk about go as the part, that's exactly what you should be walking in any room, um, casting room. You want to go looking the part as close to you can get the part because they, when someone sees you, when the casting director see you, they want to be able to say, okay, that person, we want to cast them. So you want to look like what they are looking for. And right there, I talk about, uh, that's Anastasia, her concealer cream kit that I was using, just a side note. But yeah, when you go into any casting, you just want to look as closely to the part as possible. Also, you guys want to keep in mind, every time you get a callback audition, it's a good idea to go the same way you dressed in the first audition so don't waste any time recreating any type of look just go in as how you went in in the first place because that's why they liked you now i am going to use um, the dream catcher color palette from nyx i decided that because what i'm doing sort of like a smoky look but i don't want to use black uh, and because i'm wearing all black so I didn't want to do, I wanted to do a little bit uh, different of a smoky look. I started with the base, it's just brown, which is almost done. I'm just going to base my creases of my eyes with the brown. I decided to use more of like a rustic color to bring out the smokiness and that will go in my inner. I inner eyelid <laughs> and my lashes these particular lashes I got offset from a model job so I don't know the particular name of the lashes but I like them so much that I kept them uh sure more it's kind of an older uh, makeup line I really love it I when I used to live in New York I used to do um, a lot of shows that they would have different um, makeup designers um, Makeup artist makeup, sorry. And Shuamara was one of them, and I just love their colors. And this palette, as you can see, is pretty much almost gone. Their gold is amazing. Probably one of the best metallic golds I've ever had. This is also a metallic. It's kind of purplish, pinkish, fuchsia, if you will. And I used that for the outer eye. When I first did the look when I was getting ready for the actual audition, I used another um, purplish color that was a little bit deeper. But this one is like brighter and more metallic, so I really like it. So I'm gonna use this for the outer part of my eye. And then on the top of my brow are the, my eyebrow bone, gold-ish color. So I'm just gonna put a little gold, a little goldish from the NYX palette on my brow bone. For this look, I did do a wing. I'm doing everything one-handed. And then I did it from the, kind of started from the middle. And then I brought it out. Originally, I did this with liquid liner, but then I ran out of my liquid liner. Blush, I like to use some of the shadows. I used the pink from the e.l.f. palette. And I don't put on too much, but it was one of the colors that did show up on me. For my lips, I decided to go with Runway Rogue. I actually modeled for them and it is a lipstick line, lip gloss and lipstick line. I used the entire, this lip liner, I actually used it also for my lips. And then I used Runway Rogue again by Patricia Hartman. I used the lip gloss that goes with the lip liner this one is called runway red you can tell how much i love things i try to hold on to them but this is the actual highlighter that i use <laughs> now i'm just finishing up my look by putting on some bronzer high slash highlighter and then i go into the end where i actually put on the hijab to show the complete look and another pointer pointer for you guys is to make sure you pre-pick out your outfits I would say the night before before any audition or callback because sometimes it could take a couple of looks before you get to the actual look that you want and don't be afraid to send it to some friends or even send it um, to your 
your agent. So that's why the day before is a great day to kind of um, give you a buffer, give you some time to, you know, so your friends or your agent can say, no, that doesn't look good. The color's not good, et cetera, et cetera. And my last pointer of this video is you guys don't have to go out and spend a lot of money on creating your look for a casting or audition. You just have to be creative, kind of reinvent the clothes that you already have. Good places to go is Goodwill or Crossroads or even Wasteland. Those are all recycled clothes in the LA area that you can recreate. Here's the full look from head to toe. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Please subscribe if you haven't. Like, comment below. See you next time.